Danny, the um, season has finished today. It's not been a season that has been fantastic for Boreham Wood, but every club has struggled this season. Are you just, I suppose, happy that it's, it's over and that you've, um, you've put out a, you know, a decent shift? Um, I can't say I agree with you. It's, uh, it's not been great for everyone. I think Sutton are probably dancing around um, South London and Surrey tonight, um, having been beat by Barnet. Um, we haven't been. We haven't put in a good enough shift. Um, we've done our best, uh, but we've come up short too often. Matt, um, we've given away two goal leads. We've given away, you know, multiple leads at times. Today, we were playing for thirteenth or fourteenth. We've made Ned United, and that's not really where. That's not really the level that we've got ourselves to. So, you know. We're good at playing the underdog, um, but this year it just didn't go for us at key times. And we can't look to blame anybody else but ourselves. Um, as I say, we, you know, we're not the biggest supported club, so we can't blame that. Although just having supporters back in the ground today was wonderful for us all. But we served them up a load of mush today and um, made Ned quite rightly um, give us a 4-1 iden, and it could have been 8-1. Let's go a bit back to that because you must have been absolutely delighted to see the fans back in the stadium today. Even if we weren't able to give them the best performance, it must have been lovely just to see them back here. It was great. Um, but like all football fans, you know, they, they come here, they pay their money, they, wanna, they want you to serve them up a performance and we didn't do that. Um, coming up the drive, I could hear the noise in the ground and... You can hear Wood Army ringing out. I look, in, I look into the car park and all the picnic tables are there and they're full and everybody's sitting in the sunshine and everyone's just pleased and excited that our community is coming back together. And then you get to the 90 minutes and then it's a case of what makes their night. Their, their night, their day, their, their weekend. Winning football matches. You don't have great dressing rooms unless you win football matches. People will tell you, oh, it's the best dressing room I've ever, ever been in. It's always when you're winning football matches, you know? So, yeah, I'm absolutely thrilled um, that, you know, we've got this far. But it's been a long haul to get this far, you know? Um, this time last year, we didn't know. The league had finished early. It was points per game. Were we going to play the playoffs and suddenly... You know, this has felt like two seasons in one, if that makes sense. Because suddenly we had a pre-season, get ready for Halifax, 1-0 down. You know, we turned that round, beat Halifax 2-1, off to Harrogate. You know, this is all less than a year ago. It seems like an eternity ago. They beat us 1-0, they go to Wembley, they totally outplay Notts County. Um, you know, Harrogate now, EFL club, established. Barrow, EFL club, established. I wish such good luck to Sutton United. Um, they're a club in our own ilk. Um, Bruce is a dear friend of mine, and what a job they've all done over there. Matt Gray, um, Jason Goodliffe, Bruce, all, all the gang over there. Um, and as I say, it would have been nice today for it to be, we, you know, we should have been in a shake-up for the playoffs, and we was in a shake-up for 13th or 14th, and um, you know, I'm not sure that's exactly what we had in mind when we lost up at Harrogate 1-0 um, last August. Mm. Let me finish on a, on a highlight and, and tell me what, what have your best parts of this season been? There must be some highlights throughout the season, there must be some games where you think that was fantastic or, or moments or individual performances that you thought, yeah, that's good. I had my 94-year-old president here against Wrexham, not, not, not more than two, three weeks ago. And he's 94 and he looked frail. And he cried at half time because we were 2 0 up and all he saw was almost ghosts in the ground when he started this club up in 1948. But it was cold and we got him home at half time and we led 2 0. That was probably the highlight of my season. He didn't, he didn't know that we lost the game 3 2. We threw it in again in the second half. Um, which has been a, and that game probably encapsulated our season. But for my 94 year old president, uh, Bill O'Neill, um, we, we had a special meal. J 
just a few of us. Um, and that's, that's the highlight of my season.